Hey what's going on guys Tanmay here for simple snippets and welcome back to another video tutorial on page replacement algorithms in operating systems and today's topic is going to be second chance page replacement algorithm so we're going to be solving a numerical based on this topic or this algorithm but before we start off a quick theory on this second chance page replacement algorithm and then we'll actually solve a numerical so this second chance page replacement algorithm as the name suggest basically gives a second chance to a particular page which is supposed to be replaced depending on particular criteria so what is that criteria so it is a modified form of first in first out page replacement algorithm known as second chance page replacement and it fares relatively better than fifo at a little cost for the improvement so what is that exact improvement that is happening so it works by looking at the front of the queue as fifo does but instead of immediately paging out that page it checks to see if it is referenced bit is set or set to 1 or not So here the concept of reference bit is used and this reference bit is basically an additional information which is applied to every page and we check whether it is set or not so when i say set it means 1 and when i say reset it is 0 okay so we'll understand this better when we solve a numerical and what it does is if it is not set then the page is swapped out otherwise the reference bit is cleared which means it is made 0 again so now let's take a numerical example to understand this theory that i just explained because This theory will be very clear when we actually solve a numerical based on it. So let's see how that goes. Okay, so let us consider a page reference string two three two one five two four five three two three five. We have three page slots, and we have to calculate the number of page faults, page fault probability, and page fault percentage using second chance page replacement algorithm. So let's see what do we have over here. We have three page slots, which means in memory we have space for three pages. You can see these are the frames F one, F two, and F three. and the reference string is basically the pages that is the number of pages or names of pages which are coming in in this left to right order so basically these are page requests so we want page 2 first then page 3 and so on and so forth and the things that we have to calculate is number of page faults page fault probability and page fault percentage okay so let's start off with solving the numerical starting off with the very first page 2 now as you can see when page 2 is requested you can see in the memory we do not have that page which means that this results in a page fault so i'm going to write a x over here or i'll say 1 so this 1 denotes number of page faults okay so this is the very first page fault that has happened and now page 2 is going to be loaded into this memory so i'm going to write 2 over here let's move ahead let's see for the next page page 3 so again when it comes to the second iteration or second round we only have page 2 in the memory we don't have page 3 right so again this also results in a page fault so i'm going to write 2 so this 2 denotes two page faults so currently we are having two page faults okay you can denote this by x or something else also or you can also write f over here let's write f also and page 3 is loaded in the pages or in the memory let's move to the next iteration that is over here now you can see page 2 is requested we already have two in the memory right so we have two and three now what we are going to do is using this second chance page replacement algorithm when you find a repetition of page you create a reference bit for that particular page okay and that reference bit is now set so when i say set it is made 1 so this 1 is assigned to this page 2 okay the reason why we assign this as 1 is because it got repeated once right so this page will get a second chance when it comes to replacement so you'll see that when we move ahead right now just assign 1 that is a reference bit 1 to that particular page now there was no page fault over here because 2 was already there in the pages in the memory so i'm going to write a tick mark over here let's move ahead let's see page 1 now you can see 2 and 3 are there we don't have 1 so this is a page fault so this is a third page fault i'm going to load 1 over here 2 and 3 were already there right now remember reference bit also repeats that is it still exist over here so we have to write that also now coming to the next iteration when we request page 5 you can see that we don't have 5 in the memory and you can see all the page slots are also filled with the different pages so 2 3 and 1 are already there 5 is being requested so one of them have to be removed right so we have to either remove 2 3 or 1 now remember that this second chance page replacement algorithm is basically a modified version of fifo only now remember in fifo we removed the page or replace the page that came in first so when it comes to this second chance also we have to use the same methodology with a twist that is with the slight modification so according to fifo if you see from left to right the first page that came in was page 2 right 
we loaded page two over here and it is still there in memory. You can see two, two, two and two. So according to plain FIFO, that is the basic FIFO, we have to remove two. But since this is a second chance page replacement algorithm, we have to check for its reference bit. Now here you can see that the reference bit of page two is set to one. So when this happens, we have to give this page two a second chance, which means that we cannot replace page two even when according to FIFO, we had to replace that. But because of second chance, that is because of this reference bit being one, you cannot remove this page. Okay. So we have to write that page as it is. And now that reference bit has become reset. So it becomes zero. That is, we gave this page a second chance and now it will not get second chance further. If there is another time, we have to replace it. Okay. So we still have to replace a page. So the next two possible candidates are three and one. So again, we have to check for which page came in before or first compared to three and one. So when you see three came in right after two and one was loaded over here itself. So three came before one, right? So you have to replace three and replace it with page five and one remains as it is. Okay. So this is how that second chance page replacement algorithm works. If it was for plain FIFO, we would have replaced two, but because the reference bit of two was set to one, it got second chance. Okay. Let's move ahead. You'll understand it even more. Now again, page two is requested. Page two was already there in the memory. By the way, it was a page fault over here also. So I'm going to write page fault four and F moving on to the next step. Page two is requested. Now, if you see page two is already there with a reference bit of zero. So now this is not a page fault situation because page two is already there. So I'm going to write two, five and one as it is. But now since page two was again reiterated or again requested and it did not result in a page fault. Again, the reference bit for page two is set to one. Okay. So whenever there is a repetition of a particular page, the reference bit for that page is set to one. Always remember this moving ahead. Page four is requested. Now we have page two, five and one and all the slots are full, which means that this is a page fault, right? So this is a fifth page fault and one of the page either two, five or one has to be replaced. Now again, we have to apply the same FIFO rule. We have to see which page came in first. Now, if you see, if you apply the plain FIFO rule, page two was loaded very first at the very first step and it is still there in memory, but you cannot replace page two because you can see over here, the reference bit was just set to one over here in the previous step. So you cannot replace page two over here. So now we have to either remove page five or page one, depending upon which one came first. So again, you have to check from left to right. Now you can see page one came over here and page five came over here, which means page one came before page five, right? So we have to remove one and add four instead of that the rest of the two and five remains as it is. This is a page fault. And now you have to change that reference bit of two to zero. Okay. It was one. We gave it a second chance. So again, the reference bit has to be made to zero. So this is how second chance page replacement algorithm works. I hope you're understanding. Let's move ahead. So now we are at this step. Page five is being requested. Now you can see we already have page five in the page slots. So this is not going to be a page fault situation. I'm going to write two, five and four as it is, but because page five was repeated and it did not result in a page fault, the reference bit for this page is now set to one reference bit for page two was zero, but reference bit of page five is now set to one, which means that if there is a replacement happening, page five will get one chance. So let's move ahead. Page three is now requested. Now you can see two, five and four are already there and we don't have any more space, which means that we have to replace either two, either five or either four and replace it with page three. So now we have to decide which page to be replaced. Now again, we have to apply the FIFO rule and see which page came in very first. And according to that rule, we know that page two was the very first page which came in and it was still there till the end. And now you can see that the reference bit of page two is zero, which means that now we can easily remove this off because it does not get a second chance. It got its second chance over here itself. But since reference bit is not set or it is made zero, we can easily swap out this and change it to three and the rest of them become as it is. Five is still having its reference bit set to one. Four is as it is. And this is a page fault. So this is the sixth page fault. So finally, we swapped out the page two outside the memory because its reference bit was set to zero. It had already got got its second chance. And we had to remove it off using the FIFO rule. Let's move ahead. Again, page two is now requested over here. You can see currently we have three, five and four, which means that this is a page fault. This is the seventh page fault. One of the page has to be replaced. So let's see which page to be replaced. 
three just came in so you have to apply the fifo rule right so we cannot remove three because three just came in now we have to compare five and four so if you compare five and four from left to right five came in over here and four came in over here which means five came before four right it is still there in the memory you can see so we have to remove five according to fifo rule but if you see the reference bit of five is set to one which means that it will get a second chance and it will not be replaced in this step so in this case page 4 is going to be replaced instead of page 4 we are adding page 2 3 and 5 are going to be as it is the reference bit of 5 now becomes zero okay which means that now it will not get a second chance this is a page fault this is the seventh page fault let's move ahead at this step you can see 3 is requested 3 is already there in the memory so 3 5 and 2 we will write as it is reference bit of 5 is zero this is not a page fault Moving to the last step, 5 is requested, 5 is already there in memory, so 3, 5 and 2, reference bit of 5 is 0 and this is also not a page fault. So this ends our complete numerical. Now one point to note that is whenever for the first time a particular page is added, the reference bit is always set to 0 only, okay? So when 2 was added initially, the reference bit was set to 0 only. When 3 was added, reference bit was set to 0 only. But I did not mention it because we only mentioned it when we actually got a repetition and we change the reference bit to 1. So just remember that whenever a page comes in for the first time, the reference bit is always set to 0. When its instance or appearance happens second time, the reference bit is set to 1 because now it will get a second chance. Okay. So this was the second chance page replacement algorithm. And now let's quickly calculate the number of page faults. We have already written the number of page faults. You can see the number of page faults as 7. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So I'm going to write 7 over here. Now the page fault probability is given by number of page faults that is 7 divided by the total number of iterations or total number of steps. So let's calculate the total number of steps. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. So 7 divided by 12 which will give us the page fault probability as 0.58. Okay, so this is the page fault probability and when you want to calculate page fault percentage you just have to multiply this 0 0.5 into 100 so basically the formula would be something like the number of page faults that is 7 divided by total number of steps that is 12 into 100 so that will give you 58 percent okay so you can calculate it over here also i have actually left out space over here but we did the calculation here itself so number of page faults 7 page fault probability is 0. 58 and page fault percentage is 58 percent okay so this was the second chance page replacement algorithm i hope you've understood the entire algorithm and entire steps of how to go about this algorithm if you like this video please give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments how this video was do share it with your friends and if you haven't yet subscribed make sure you subscribe to this channel so that you get notified whenever i upload similar videos or tutorials so thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video peace